Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making one of the most fantastic drinks on the planet. I think I just spit. That's how good it is. <laughs> You're already salivating. <laughs> I know. That's like pre... There's probably some syndrome for that. Pre-salivary... Well, it's like Pavlov's dog, right? Yeah. And he rings the bell, he gets the food. <laughs> so he rings the bell, no food, but he starts salivating. Yeah. That was the whole experiment, right? I wasn't going to mention anything, but you were kind of drooling as you oh. brought out the basil. <laughs> yes. That's why it's a little wilty, because I was <laughs> drooling on it. Now, this truly is a fantastic drink. Oh, it's amazing. And the key to it is basil syrup, yep. which you have to make. But it's not hard, right? Yeah, don't worry. Not difficult at all. We put a video together. It's pretty simple. Three ingredients. Doesn't take yes. a lot of time. No. If Phil and I can figure it out, it's not hard. Because we don't do difficult things. No, never. Right? We do worth uh, worthwhile things. Getting married, that was pretty difficult. <laughs> I don't know that I would do that again. No. Just kidding. Your wedding is coming up pretty soon. It is, yeah. It's going to be fun. Getting married was the best thing I ever did. Do you know why? Why? Because 24-7, you have someone that you can constantly annoy. <laughs> That's the greatest thing about being married, I think. <laughs> yep. Always someone there to like... Esther. Right. Are you going to take advantage of that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I already, I already do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the basil gimlet, this is, a, like I said, a terrific drink. Mm -hmm. um, you can use gin or vodka, right? Right. But you want to use a gin that uh, doesn't have a lot of prominence of anything. You want yeah. it, um, like juniper or cucumber, you, you want something that's subtle. Yeah. You want something that's complex but doesn't have, like you say, a lot of one thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We like this uh, Tanqueray Mulaka. Yep. All right. If you can't find that, um, Small's Gin is very nice. Mm -hmm. That's pretty even keel. Has a little bit of cardamom notes to it, but that goes very well with the basil or a Plymouth Gin. Yep. You'll find. Um, if you want to use a vodka, we have friends who aren't real fa big fans of gin. We'll uh, make theirs with this Boyd and, Boyd and Blair vodka, which mm -hmm. is pretty complex for a vodka. But we like it the best with the with the Mulaka. Yeah. Uh, it's got like um, some floral notes to it, a little bit of grapefruit. Yes. Yeah, so it's got some like complexity pleasant. to it. Yes, very sweet. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need. You need gin, basil syrup, and lime juice. That's it. Some we of the best things in life are that simple. We should have had this made already if you weren't like yammering on. <laughs> Let's make it. Got juniper berries and all that <laughs> kind of crap. Let's right. make it. We're going to start with two and a half ounces of gin. All right. We're using the malacca. We like saying mulaka. It's actually mulaka, I think. It's fun to say. Mulaka. Mulaka. All right, we're going to do one and a quarter ounces of our basil syrup. Very fragrant, very delicious, very sweet. So many different smells going on right now. I know. I think so I didn't take good. a bath this morning. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're... <laughs> and one ounce of lime juice. I knew these limes were going to be awesome today. Very juicy. Yes. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't take some of that basil syrup, put a little bit behind your ears. Yeah, typically, I do. <laughs> I don't know why people uh, on TV, they always put it behind their ears in these old movies, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I guess maybe because they were hoping someone would nibble their ears. <laughs> That's what they did back in the 50s. And they would just nibble ears. Now it's like, you start mauling the person right away on TV. It smells so good I could take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> we'll shake it in the Boston shaker. All right. Cocktail Cowler. shaker. Oh my gosh. That was a good <laughs> I hope you brought her second shirt. I did. That created some gas in there for some reason. Pops right off. All right. Let's drain this into a martini glass. We're using a Kramer glass today. Ooh, that does smell good. Mm -hmm. um, you can garnish this with a basil leaf thrown in there. If you get basil from your garden, what we like to do is just take the very tip part of the basil leaf where the little floweret is and the young leaves are. And we'll just plop that right on the top there and let that float around. And there you have your basil gimlet. Truly a delightful drink.
Enjoy. Cheers.